Hello world and welcome to another machine learning tutorial. Today's topic would be random forest classifier. My name is Harris and let's get started. So for more tutorials, I'll be really happy about it. If you like the channel, subscribe it. Leave a comment or like, I'll be really happy about it. So what is a random forest? Random forest is, if you're taking for example, in this case, a lot of decision trees in series and at the end of the day you're doing a majority voting. So for example if you have three decision trees, two are saying that the patient has diabetes and one not, then the majority voting will be applied so the diabetes patient is the majority, so it will it means it's a patient which has diabetes. For example, you can also take, instead of only decision trees, you can apply assemble learning. And you can, for example, have a decision tree, a logistic regression, etc., etc. So multiply models, which you can apply here in series. What's the difference between classification and regression? We were covering last time the run the forest regressor, which were applied on stock prices. So you can use it basically for continuous data or time series data. A classification you can use on a data set that we are going to use today. So for example, we are do using diabetes data sets from patients, but you can also use cancer data if you are going to check if, if this is a dog or a cat. So a lot of data sets you can apply here where you have a lot of features and you want to predict the outcome. Therefore you see for example on the left side the classification where you can differentiate if this is a diabetes patient, patient or not. What are the most advantages of this model? So you can do both. You can do regression or classification. You can handle missing data and maintain the accuracy and it's easy to implement. You're going not to overfit the model because you're doing majority voting because you have a lot of, for example, decision trees in series. It's also applicable for a huge data set and we are applying with random forest assemble learning, which means we can also combine the different models. We are choosing today a diabetes data set where the outcome would be a zero or one. One means the patient has diabetes or zero or not. We have eight features like blood pressure, pregnancies, age, etc. And we are going to predict whether he has diabetes or not. So let's get started. I'm going to open the Jupyter notebook and check the code. So first of all, we are going to import the NumPy data and afterwards we are going to import matplotlib to plot all the results, pandas for using um, read ceasefire, etc. Then sklearns model selection because we are going to split training and testing data set. Afterwards we are importing the diabetes CSV file where you can also use other data sets, for example, cancer data, etc. We are going to split the data set in a testing and training data set, 30% testing, 70% training data. We're going to preview the data with the eight features and the outcome, zero, one. We're going to choose the model, and this time we are going to choose a random forest classifier with 100 estimators, so for example 100 decision trees. Another parameter you can insert here. If you have another parameters you can just play around a little bit with this model. We are going to fit the model and predict the result, therefore we are going to train the training set and afterwards we are going to predict the X test data to predict the outcome. Afterwards, we are going to evaluate the model. Therefore, we are using the scoring function and we have a accuracy of 81%, confusion matrix to show you the true and false positive, etc. where you can also calculate the accuracy. 
afterwards we are going to plot the result because I always like, like to show the results in a nice graph. Um, above we saw we see a subplot, red is the actual data, so test data and prediction which will be represented by the blue dots. Therefore we see a accuracy of 81% which you see one for outcome and zero means there is no diabetes patients. Therefore we see a lot of matches and we see that the model is pretty accurate. So yeah, thanks for watching and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button, leave a like or comment there to improve. Thanks a lot and see you soon.